Hello, everyone. And we're back. Welcome to Thursday. Thursday. Our Furbo just said that our dogs are barking, but it's really just us. <sighs> this is just me, but thank you, Furbo, for thinking. If you missed it on Tuesday, we were starting off a two-person bins haul for you guys because last week we actually were both able to get the bins together, which had been... Forever. So excited. Forever since that happened. Ryan hadn't been to the bins since like August. summer. Long time ago. So we went to the bins and it was really, really good. Last time we were here on Tuesday, we basically showed you all the shoes, bags, accessories, stuff like that. A couple of clothes. And just a dabbled smattering. in the clothes, but otherwise we didn't get into any of the clothes. But this was a really successful bins trip. It seems it that whenever Ryan is able to make it out there, we have quite a bit of luck. Which is great because obviously do you don't get really to go all do. the time. So no, it would no, suck no. if you went there and then it was nothing. And it was poo poo. Yeah. But it, it was, was pretty it good. It was really good. I feel like I didn't get like as much as Jack, but I definitely like, I got a good little bag of things. Yeah. Which is, oh, such a joy. And as you guys know, we were just getting Uptown Cheapskate to start buying basically mm -hmm. these past couple oh. weeks. So Ryan was grabbing stuff for them. I was grabbing stuff for them. They're mm -hmm. really trying to fill their store and <laughs> we are willing to. To help with that willing so, and able so we were doing that as well so yeah i the pat ugh, last week i spent a lot of money at the bin because i went was, twice and both of them were large trips she was a chunk of change yes but it's okay with all this good stuff i should be able to make my money better i also will say because i just realized i'm not wearing my wedding ring because i was cooking all day yeah we're fine we're divorced no it's okay and i'm wearing three next Monday. i'm so excited i have more than you for once I know. I was cooking chicken. Yeah. And I, like, I cannot in good conscience wear jewelry when there's meat in my vicinity. I take yeah. everything off because, ew. Yeah. I don't want to get salmonella. Wild. Yeah, our anniversary, from when you guys are seeing this video, our anniversary is like five days away. A year. A year. Our wedding was a year ago. That's crazy. <laughs> it, 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 it kind of seems forever ago, but it kind of seems like it's It seems happened. like yesterday and also ten years ago at the yeah. exact same time. It's yeah. really weird. Anyways, that's... Now we're here. Crazy. Well, this, well, after this, we'll just go spiral in a different room, but I guess we're here to talk about clothes. So I suppose we should jump right into the hall. Yeah. So starting off with not clothes, because I did find the wallet that I hinted at last Yay. on Tuesday. A his and hers moment. And I needed to find this because if you know, you know, you can see it right now. This is a really good wallet. So I found a Ferragamo wallet in the bins. These are cute. It even has the logo as the like hook closure, which is adorable. Mm -hmm. So like sometimes happens with older wallets, it has some like almost like peeling. It almost looks like sticker residue, but I think it's just from age. It kind of, they start to stick to themselves yeah. and then they peel themselves but otherwise this is in great shape there's no actual like tearing or like mm -hmm. real stains the zipper says ferragamo on it and still functions perfectly it has all kinds of room the exterior is in really really good shape so i definitely will be selling this myself no consigning no real real with this yeah i'm, I'm gonna sell that that's one a myself. cute one but moving on, to the, shoes I moving on to the clothing first this up is, is this anthropology cute. dress that somebody at the bins actually handed me which i really appreciate kind people i remember I've had this dress before and I was pretty surprised when I found it just because like you don't usually picture just gray from anthropology no. but it's really cute it's sleeveless mm -hmm. and it's just by anthro this one's a size medium such a good size so it is too. a good size uh I think last time I found it, it was like an extra small, but I still was able to sell it. Yeah. And of course, like I, I could consign Anthro anywhere if I end up deciding that I am not having much luck or something. Mm -hmm. Next up is another this really is cute so, piece. So, and it's new. And I haven't looked up yet if this is a dress. It probably is a mini dress yeah. versus being like a tunic. I would say so. So it is a new with tag, free people, like so shimmery cute. sequin, kind of intimate Great style for new dress. Years. This is a size two, which Rarely do you see free people like in Doesn't number. Doesn't that mean it's expensive? If it's like a number size no, this person, instead of a like letter? This person angrily ripped off the price. And it looks like it might have been a Macy's one. Or is that um, Dillard's? I don't know. One of them. I'm not the best at figuring that out. This is a little, little older. It's definitely not like within the past couple years. I can just tell by this tag. Mm -hmm. But it's still super cute. Yeah, it's perfect for fall yeah. with the black color, but it's also perfect for the holidays. Then... You're gonna be jealous of all of my fantastic finds. I don't think we saw oh much God. of what each other found. Where'd really. you find all this? Another free people piece. What? Funny that this one's the intimately free people and it's a sweater, and is then it? this one that is like intimately style is not. This is so, so cute. Yeah, this is an intimately free people sweater in a size medium. 
Eighty-eight dollars. Hmm. Super cute. It's in green. It actually is cable net, even though it's pretty busy, so it's hard to see that. It's really super cute. oversized. I love this. Super, super soft. Yeah. This should do really, really well. I was yeah. kind of shocked to find this. Next up, I think this is my other log and look piece. Log and so look. in part one, I did have a log and look, and here is another one. So this brand is called Moonlight by Y and S. What is it? Fashion design. I've had this brand once before and it did sell. Never heard of it. Uh, this is a size small, made in the USA. As I said, when you find things that look like this, or they're like linen or something, and they say made in the US, there's a really good chance that they're an expensive lag and look yep. brand. So yeah, this is some kind hmm. of like prisoner garb, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I... I'm just kidding. It's just some Can you like imagine striped... lag and look jail. <laughs> How fun would that be? It's just some striped, very like Eileen Fisher looking baggy. Yeah. I don't know. I still just don't know the like good keywords with the lag and look. So. Lag and look, oversized, oversized tunic. You know what I've started layering, to do? Layer. I will go to chat GBT and be like, give me 10 good keywords <laughs> for a lag and look top on eBay. It works every single time. It's great. Okay, first up for me, one, I think this might be my only little anthro find, but this is a brand that I don't think I've ever found before. Mm. It is Daily Practice, which is the anthropology, like, athleisure kind of a thing. And it's just this really cute little purple, like, waffle knit top. Purple? Purple? Pink? Definitely pink. I thought it was lavender. I guess it's pink. It's like ribbed, though. Yeah, it's cute. Just a little, a little basic moment. Size. Look at me not knowing what I'm doing here. Small. Easy. Once you're done working out and it's cold outside, you just throw that over. Throw your little thing onto your car. Um, this I was really excited to find. This is a torrid jacket in a size three, but Ooh. it's a little chore coat. Ooh. These are super trendy. She definitely needs to like go through a trip through the dryer because she's a little. I like these buttons. I know she's a little wrinkly, but I think this is so trendy. So cute. That's adorable. Good for the season. I know. I was very excited to find that. Next, I don't, did I find this? No. I think I threw that. Probably. Really adorable little tribal Y2K top with the mesh paneling and this like velvet detail. These always do so good that for me. Cute. And it's adorable. It's a size medium. Very like Renaissance and witchy. It's going to do great. Whimsy got Absolutely. This I was also really excited to find. This is a Madewell in a size XL. So adorable. And it's just this really adorable little like medallion lace kind of faux wrap top. But I love that it has this like scalloped edge detail to it. I think it's I mean, super cute. And that's good for like spring, summer, or fall. Yeah. Wear it over a little something something. And I like that it's an XL. Yeah. That makes me happy. I think I'll find the jeans from Madewell in like larger sizes a little more frequently than the clothing. Yeah. This is a vintage piece. Funny story about this one. So it's Fresco by Nomadic Traders. Never heard of her. I sold something very, very similar to this to Brandy Melville. I was just going to say, do you think Brandy's going to buy this from me? I'm about to send him a DM and be like, I got another one. You want another one to copy? Um, so TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read, I posted a vintage top on eBay that looked just like this. This like kind of pilgrimy top and Brandy Melville headquarters bought it in New York. And if they make it, I'm going to ask for a cut. They were on like a buying spree because actually one of the viewers commented that what sold Saturday and said she also sold something to Brandy that week. So clearly Brandy was sourcing. She's looking. <laughs> um, but I love this like detail on the cuff. I think it's really cute. There is a teeny little like makeup mark on the back of the shoulder. No big deal. And I love this little button. It's a very like airy. The little like cutie flower button. I think it's adorable. Yeah. I think that'll do really good. Any of those kind of like white grainy vintage shops always sell, clearly. Yeah. And they sell to big people. <laughs> like Brandy Melville. Next up for me is a cabbie piece. And this is cabbie size 12, which this is, is again a really good size. And this is just perfect, of course, for the season. It is a double breasted blazer. Mm -hmm. Cabbie is so violently hit or miss. Yep. But at the bins, I'm definitely a lot more willing, obviously, to like take the like chance. Something on like it. this would do a little bit. I know. It's I a little bit more substantial. I feel like these would be expensive new. Yes. I don't know how this could do poorly just because it's a really cute just yeah. nice blazer it's also like i can tell it's like a longer kind of tunic style mm -hmm. one so it's super and cute it's and trendy so i'm sure it'll do decent yeah next up a brand i don't often sell but i love this sweater so this is sanctuary size extra large and this is a black Ooh. sweater with the kind of like polo shirt 
style this collars to it. Yeah, it also has these like really just wide yeah. sleeves. I, I have yet to check if this is Anthro or Ever Eve, but I would place money that this is that gives at least one of them because it's yeah. so cute and trendy. Usually it's the more basic sanctuary that's just like mm -hmm. nothing. Next up, another free people. This one is a lot really, of yeah, for me, saying. there was a lot of free people. This is intimately again, size medium. Super, super This is cute. so soft. I ultra, love Ultra, ultra wide leg, or leg, arms. It's like, Debbie always will reference this, how back in the day you'd like wear like sweatshirts pajamas. inside out. No, she's always like, we love to wear sweatshirts inside out and you'd buy clothes where it looks like a sweatshirt's inside out. That's the situation with this. Sure. So the lining is like the exterior of a sweatshirt basically, and the exterior looks like an interior. Please clarify, Debbie. I don't understand. She says, <laughs> we would wear our clothes backwards because we got bored. We'd wear our pants for our shirts and our shirts for our pants. I'm like, what? <sighs> Every day I wake up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These I couldn't find a logo on when I found them, but you know, <laughs> I did. <laughs> sometimes with athletic, you can just feel the difference. And these felt super nice. So I was almost like, oh, are these like Sweaty Betty or Vori or something? But they are in fact Lulu, but these Did must be, cut? No. these must be, no, a lot of times they have literally just No, like, they have the little yeah. stitchy thing. Um, these must be very new because they just seemed really well made. So mm -hmm. they're size six and they do have the style number and everything. These are cute. They are... It looks like, um, tree bark. Maybe a wonder under, but it looks like now it's kind of a U shape. So hmm. I don't really know what they are. What's that tree? To look them up. It... Birch. Really... It looks like a birch tree. It looks like... Almost like Is that a birch mesh. tree? I don't know. That's... Really Weeping weird. willow. That's what I'm thinking of. Or birch. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not an arborist. This is inside out, but it's like the same thing as if it weren't. So it is like a houndstooth bodysuit, like short bodysuit, intimate suit. type kind of like compression yeah. situation. And once again, intimately free people. That's the new intimately tagged too. So really adorable. Cute. And this is a size extra small or small. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> clearly it's fully clean because it's literally inside out right now. So I can That's such a see in full detail that it's totally clean. Good. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cute like houndstooth mm -hmm. print. I really like that. Okay. Next, I was so excited to find one of these. I have seen these all over the internet and I wanted to like dip my little toe in. So this is a vintage sailor jacket and I love this like white detailing on it and I love that it has the stars on it. I think this is you know, inside out. I think it is inside out. Actually, the pocket. It's like they put the pocket on the dun, wrong dun, dun, side. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. 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 There we go. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, there's Ooh, gas. this is cool. It's really odd because there's like a pocket sewn into the inside. So I think that's why someone thought it was okay. inside out. There she goes. So it's a really adorable, like, navy thing. And there's this cool little like pocket over here. And I love that it has the little patch on it. This I think is really cool. I've seen so many people style these with just like jeans and they look really cool. So I was super excited to find one. I think it'll too good. Who knows what size? It is a- What do they say? Oh, it's my size. <gasps> you do I is? like take her for a trip? I don't know, we'll see. It kind of gives like we'll Dior see, We'll vibes. see, we'll see. She kind of, it gives, um, those ads for uh, oh, the Jean, Jean Paul Gaultier. Gaultier. Yeah, the Jean Paul Gaultier fragrance with all those like yeah. sailors. Okay, this is just cute. Acne Studios. <laughs> this little, is just whatever. Little gray sweater. Oh, there is unfortunately a, there's a little pinhole. Boop, 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 boop. We're right here. Acne Studios. Whatever. Just acne. Uh, is there another hole? I've never thrifted acne. That's fine. There's another hole, but it's okay. They're really tiny. This is something someone might layer anyways. Yeah. I don't really know what this is made of. I didn't check. It feels like cashmere. It's the Joa Kim sweater. Definitely some kind of wool. It doesn't say. Oh, just kidding. It's a test. 100% merino wool. Yeah. Uh, reading is fundamental. Um, But a cute little like turtleneck. You know, a little basic. People like Acne Studios. I think it'll do good. Mm -hmm. I think it'll do good. Okay. This I snatched because I was very excited to find it. I do need to do a little cleaning at the armpit, but this is a really, really nice women's leather vest. It is so soft. And these leather vests are super trendy. It is by... Wilson's. <laughs> oh, Maxima. Yeah. I was like, Mia Ixima. I couldn't read. 
Um, Wilson's leather stuff always does really good for me. People know that it's really good quality. And I like that it's only leather on the one side, so you can kind of like layer it with something. And this one is a size eight, mm -hmm. which I don't know what that translates to in like regular sizing. But this is just a cute little blouse. This is a sundry size two, but I think this is good for the fall. I bet every of so. I like the colors. Oh, absolutely. This is 100% every of one. Cutie patootie. Next up for me, I kind of grabbed this to consign and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try listing it for a little. So I'm gonna try this for a minute. Mm -hmm. It's Express, it's a size large, but I believe this was 2023 and it's a super, super cute, very oversized blazer. I love this color. Yeah. It's like a pumpkin kind of orange. And again, I can just tell it's really, really oversized, which is like really trendy. It's really cute. So actually. I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, I, I'll be able to consign it after if it doesn't do well, so mm -hmm. that's okay. This was really, really cute as well. This is a great find. So I'm not as into finding Aritzia anymore. It's not as exciting it as it used really to be, that good, but, but I really though. like this. So it's Wilfred, it's size large, and this is like a fully micro pleat, bohemian. It's so cute though, like, this little floral. Baby blue blouse it's got these puff sleeves and like i said it's like totally micro pleat throughout the body i don't know it's very unique and very interesting yeah. then we have a lululemon piece lululemon. at least i'm 90 percent sure i think this is the one that i could not find a label on or a, a, a logo but this was with a pile of lulu this might not be lulu i'll try to reverse image search it sometimes google works that well like maybe it was a I feel like this tag is also like thicker. Too small. Oh. No, it's like, there's like more than just the so one. This is just a mystery shirt. I wonder if it was like a fake one. I don't know. Well, I found other Lulu, so that'll be coming up in a little bit. Next up, I just had some inkling about this, that this would be something sold at Free People. No clue why. And sure enough, it is a Free People and Anthro brand. It's so cute. it's called Let Love, L-E-T-L-U-V. And this is a size small. It is like a waffle thermal, which is like a nice lightning bolt on it. Very kind of like back in the day, Wild Fox. Yeah. But yeah, this one was sold at Free People. I think I found it with a couple of the Free Peoples you've seen. So mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, it's probably Free People. Sure. Next up is a really cute dress. So this isn't a brand I really like to sell too much, but oh, it's so look at how cute this is. So it's the like little peppers. Peppers and <gasps> berries. Which I is think really, it's tomatoes. Or tomatoes. Yeah, maybe it's yeah. cherry tomatoes. But it has these like really dramatic big bow mm -hmm. kind of things at the shoulders. And this is Zara, size small. I would get this. Yeah. I, of course, would have at least got this to consign, but I am going to try yeah. to sell it myself just because I love that print. It's super unique. Oh. And when does Zara come up with something unique? Never. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Can you imagine? Never at all. This is adorable. So this is just chaps. But of course, Chaps is owned by Ralph Lauren, mm -hmm. but this is so cute. It's so good. This Ugh. is like a tribal Aztec sort of duster cardigan. I love it. Really, this. really vibrant colors. And it's also really, really soft too. The graphic or stripe is kind of like raised mm -hmm. almost it's also. Like it's like they ribbed it out. So this is really well made. It has pockets at the front. And I just think this is so so cute. I think yeah. it was a good size too. Yeah, it's a 1X. So I really think that this should do well. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited about it. Next up is really, really this cute. This is such a cute super, sweater. Super, super oh. cute. So this is three people once again. Mm -hmm. Size small. This is what I found like as soon as Ryan walked in. And I was like, it was like, You're literally welcome. as soon as he walked in is like when the bins switched from meh to good. So yeah. So I found this. So cute oh, look it kind of reminds me of those sweaters you liked oh it does look like an easy a little stick. yeah at least mm -hmm. with that kind of like single color look but it has almost that like aged sweater look where it's like a it's couple really different cute. shades of blue so adorable the back's a little more plain but i have a feeling that this is a pretty liked style yeah pretty okay popular. next up for moi this was given to me by a very wonderful human being this is very 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 old charlotte russe but, That's oh my nice gosh, cute. and then it doesn't want to cooperate with me, does she? Really adorable Y2K baby doll tank top, and I love this kind of like textured material. I really don't think this is silk. No. Chalker. It's polyester. Um, but these do so good, and I've seen a lot of these like textured 
like from expensive places like silk tops. And I like this big old lace trim on the bottom too. Yeah, the whole like crinkle, wrinkle. Yeah. She checks a lot of really good Y2K boxes, which is a joy. This is also really cute. It's this little red, just like slip dress. I love this kind of like gathered detail at the front and then at the back as well. This one, oh, it's White Fox. I forgot about yeah, this. Right. This is gonna be a really good like little holiday dress for like a girly. Mm -hmm. I think this is really cute. White Fox, if you don't know, it's just like an expensive Instagram boutique. They are very popular. It needs to be depilled just a little bit. And I will do that very carefully. It's such a popular brand right now, though. Yes, it is. The like, sweatshirts and stuff. Even Debbie so was good. like, my coworker was wondering if you guys ever find White Fox, because her daughters love it. That's I have one pair of shorts, and they yeah. are very comfortable. <sighs> I will say. Okay, this is an Urban Outfitters dress. Jack found me probably four or five of these. This was the one I ended up keeping. A lot of these like little mesh ones that I find do good, but they don't do good in like the fall winter because there's literally nothing to them. So those went to uptown. This is just a really adorable little size small dress. And I think because this is a knit, it's gonna do a little bit better. I've seen people that like layer these with a bunch of stuff. I like the two different colors. Yeah, and I like that it's kind of like a little shirred moment. I think that's really cute. I think Nate's gonna do you good. This is for the Garp Core Boys, size large. North Face pants, look, that you can come with your own little carabiner. Hmm. Isn't that great? Really adorable little zip and off. And you can turn them into shorts if yeah. you're- <laughs> Whatever, I miss zip off pants. They were so nice. Uh. Really adorable little zip off pants. These do have like one itty bitty teeny little like campfire mark right by the pocket, but that is no big deal. And I think these are gonna do good. I don't know if the group, the group core kids are still hanging out, but I hope they might so. just have a different name now. I feel like yeah, all the trends probably. stick around, they just change names all the time. Exactly. So this I'm debating keeping. I don't need it but I do really like it. It is a vintage polo by Ralph Lauren sweater. This is 40% silk, linen, and cotton. And it's just this really cute cream sweater, but I love that it has these little blue details it's cute. on each of the seams. It is really cute. It's like, if only they put some kind of fun graphic. If only they put a bear on this, that'd be- You could almost like embroider your own little something fun into should. it. I really should. This, I was very excited to find. Good for the holidays. J. Crew men's sweater in this really amazing, like a multicolored fair aisle print. This is definitely a wool something. Yeah, I think it's 100%. 100% lamb's wool, is which medium? is great. It is medium. Really cute. Not shrunk at all, because that definitely would fit him. No, I know. Super. If this was a large, that would have been the sweater that I wore to Christmas this year, which is really nice. Okay, I have two more and then some fun ties to just like, here, look. This is Vintage Express. I love these like little jackets, especially with this like corset detail on the back. And the sides. And it goes all the way around. Do these like come apart? Like, can I just Probably. take the bottom off if I really wanted to? I don't think they do. But either way, you wouldn't want it's to a keep on really, hooking. really cute little jacket. This kind of stuff does great on Depop. I'm very excited to find yeah. that. Kind of punk, but kind of like street. Yes. So this brand is actually really expensive, and I was really happy to find it. And I've never had it before, but I've seen it every time we go to like Nordstrom when we do the R and D and stuff. It is the brand Mad Happy. It's an expensive like athleisure line and it just says Mad Happy on the front, but I love that the hood has this like kind of stitched detail. It's really cute. It's nice cotton. It's, it's very really, thick. really thick. It is a size medium. What does it say? Treat yourself like someone you love. Mad Happy. Hmm. Really cute. Yeah. Really cute, really cute, really cute. And this was just like, I wish that I would have found the pants to this if it was like a set. That would have been really nice. Lots of sweatshirts, which I think is good for this season. Okay, so I found some ties that I'm probably gonna keep. Banana Republic, cute little green. I'm really into this, like I've seen on the internet, people like they tie them together. So they'll take two of them and then they'll like tie them together and like not like you a tie. Just, like look up random things to do with ties. I it's do. Like every day I really you have do. A new idea. This is a cute little vintage red one. This is a L'Enfant tie. Oh, and I like the blue. I think this That's blue. That's like a new label. I think too. this blue is really pretty. Um, and I was gonna do my little tie thing with this blue tie, with which the is Calvin Klein. Um, this is just a cute little like headscarf wrap thing. Like you know you can kind of. Oh, back in the old country. One of these little moments. Um, and then I have one belt that has no brand, but I bought it because it has these really fun little like details on it. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah, no brand. All That's right. it. Well, I, no, 
Well, that's it for me. Sorry. As I said, I am not done. I have quite a few things left. My good stuff. So this is really good. Mm -hmm. This is this super nice sweatshirt. It's very, very black still. So it hasn't been washed a ton. It's kind of like a funnel turtleneck mock neck. And this is Lululemon cute. with the label and everything. It's a size eight, 100% cotton. Super cute. Some kind of like tunic sweatshirt, I yeah. can tell. I haven't like looked up the names of any of these, but it does have pockets at the front and everything. Mm -hmm. Then I found these. I knew what these were because I've had them before. So these are some kind of like really soft, almost like pajama level soft joggers. These are really nice. And they have this high waist to them. They're camo and these are Athleta. These are really cute. So these are actually Athleta small tall, which is great. Of course, mm -hmm. you guys know I love to find tall Athleta pieces. So these are the Salutation camo jogger, probably from around 2020 or something like that. Cute. Next up, another really cute pair of leggings. These are kind of like a wine red. I love these. Yeah, really adorable. Really good condition once again. Yeah. And these are also Lululemon. These don't feel like they've ever been worn. No. Or like these washed are, at these least. These are some classic Wonder Unders, I believe. I don't know exactly what size. Size six. So they might be from same that same. Same lady. Yeah, she didn't use her stuff much. No. She or she wanted, took really good care she of She got it. a gym membership, but... She never went. It didn't last too long. Graf so next up, these... We're with the Athleta, and I'm pretty sure they're the exact same style, right? Mm -hmm. um, these are Athleta, oh no, they're the studio jogger, and they're extra small, and these, these, are cute. these ones are not tall, but they're quite stretchy, so I bet the same lady who was a small wore these. Yeah. Again, just so soft, like butter. Lularo mm -hmm. soft. Lularo. That's a name we have not heard of. Next up, another style that I totally just recognize. I've had them like a trillion times. These yep. are some joggers, cotton joggers, and these are Athleta, and they're the Feralin joggers. I think I'm in the Feralin shorts right now, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, these are cute. These are four petite, so we have a whole variety of Athleta going mm -hmm. on here, but I've definitely sold those before. Otherwise, again, any consignment store would take them. Yeah. I found a Daydreamer piece, oh, which is fantastic. Nice. This is a Daydreamer Def Leopard sweatshirt. Super cute. Haven't looked it up, but I'm sure it was sold at Free People. I feel like almost every daydreamer was like sold at Free oh, People. Oh yeah, they are so popular. They love them. Yeah. They really do. This is also oh, so I cute. Oh, I love this. This is like a waffle thermal top. This is top so cute. With these ruffle details to the sleeves. And this is by Pilcro, the newer label. Mm -hmm. If you hear hammers, our neighbor is hammering something. He's building. Size small, but definitely oversized. Probably could fit like a medium. Yeah, this super, is really cute. Super cute. Another good pair of athletic pants, but these aren't ones I usually sell. I'm gonna give these mm -hmm. a shot. These are Zella. Size two. And these are basically like the Zella, either like what, dance studio or dog walker. The dog walker. Kind of knockoff. Yes. Which in the past I've sold some Lucy knockoffs, mm -hmm. kind of. I like think this. Lucy makes the like the fleece lined ones. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. just give these Zella ones a shot. Of course, like Zella's not dirt cheap, but no. I don't really usually have the mouse luck with it, so we will see. Next up, of course, anytime I see leather rolling out, I'm like, what I gotta it? go get it. Oh yeah. And so this rolled out in front of Ryan, and I was like, please, before you check anything, can you check that? Because it looks like nice leather. I got it. And sure enough, it was. I snatched it. And sure enough, Ryan was nice enough to let me keep it. If yeah. I can zip it. It's really cute, though. This is a leather vest, and this is by Vince. It's cute. a size large, super, super nice. Otherwise, it's kind of like almost a denim on the non-leather parts, and it's kind mm -hmm. of like Ryan's leather vest he found, where it's just leather at the front. I like this back too. Yeah, that's a little it's bit a nicer really than nice, the one that I found. A really nice material. Yeah, we're coming close to the end. Here here, we go, folks. Yeah. Next up is a dress. And this is Maeve Anthropology. This it is, is a newer label, even though this piece almost looks slightly older to me. So it's a size this large. Tweet. This me. is very like kind of the Bowden looking anthro. Yeah, that's what it is. So it has floral all throughout, and it's kind of that like Bowden soft material mm -hmm. they use. So because it's newer label, I'm sure it has a really cute picture and stuff, and I definitely yeah. will be selling that myself. I found two scarves. Cute. This one is Kate Spade, and it's oh, pink love. leopard. Super cute, really good shape. A little bit of detailing I need to do, but not too much. Yeah, There's this the is label. very Debbie to me. It is. And then it was the, with this one, I think they just put a bunch of scarves together. This one Ooh, just this felt like really good nice. material, so I was like, I do want to check it. 
And this is actually Eileen Fisher. Oh. So I'll definitely try this since it's like an is accessory. I don't it's know really if it has soft. the fabric. I don't know. Yeah, I don't feel like it says the fabric tag on it, does. but I might. It's really soft. It's kind of like it scalloped. I'll probably, it might be Angora, but I probably can find someone else with it listed and figure out what it is. Yeah. And then we just have a stack of jeans. So let's get, get through. Them. Let's get through these jeans. These are some good ones. So first <laughs> up is Maybell. These are cute. And these are some blue jeans, some kind of classic wash. Size 32, and they're the perfect vintage with the raw hem. Super, mm -hmm. super adorable. Great size. I have kind of started to like selling Maybell denim again. I feel like we went through a rough yeah. patch, but we are back on track. I think if it's a good size and if it's a newer wash, I yeah. think or a newer style, I think you're good. Yeah. Another pair of Maybell. These ones are gray, and these ones are size 33, and they're mm -hmm. the 10-inch high-rise skinny, but I'm fairly certain these are like a much newer skinny, which yeah. I don't mind selling their and kind of newer ones. And especially that they're a 33, which is what, like a 16? Some 14, like 16, that. somewhere in there. Yeah, so these are really cute. And mm -hmm. let's see, let me actually check the year that these are from. So these are from, yeah, 2020. Yep. So I'm sure they'll have a picture that makes them not just look like the old Back the classic skinny. black skinny jeans. Yeah. Another pair of Maybell. These are cute. Shocker. These were all together and I just like Thank you. load them up. Oh, immediately. Madewell label once again, and these are size 33, and these are also the perfect vintage jean. These, these ones are also so raw hem, and they have a little wear, or distressing to the knee. Love these. But these are a slightly different wash, so they are all just like a little different from each other, but they're all really good sizes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And my last pair is, drum roll, Madewell. Can't believe it. And so these are size 32, and they are the mid-rise kick out jeans mid-rise kick out i've never heard so of i guess what's she kicking the out kick out is somehow different from the kick boot i have no idea i don't know these look a little less flared than the boot maybe that's the situation but i have hmm. to look them up i'm sure this style will do super well though yeah because anything kind of like flared mm -hmm. does really good yeah that was so, a good haul yeah <gasps> it was very solid this sweatshirt has a stain that's okay i'll wash it we have a washing machine we do have a washing machine thank god all right so we've been filming for a while. An hour. It's getting warm in here. It is getting hot. Covered in like wolves and denim. <laughs> so we will see you guys <laughs> on Friday on the second channel if you're interested to keep up with our our week. Our, our life. Lives. Our life for a week. We will have a vlogoween going up on the second channel tomorrow. Otherwise, we will see you on Sunday for a regular what? So Sunday. But that's all that we have for you today. So we will see you when you choose to see us. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.